Hey guys, you'll never believe what I found in my utility room that I purchased and never used. And today, going back and talking about my grandma's old recipes, it got me thinking, hmm, what happened to that big humongous thing that I bought at a, at a garage sale in my neighborhood years ago for five freaking dollars? that is worth like $50 or more now. And guess what? I found it. And what item am I talking about? I believe they call this giant thing. And this is just the lid. A giant calderon. That is spelled C like Charlie, A, L. D like David, E, R, O, N, exclamation point times three. You may be asking yourself, what the hell is a Calderon? And basically, it's a giant Puerto Rican cooking pot. Now, they may be using this all over Latin America, but the first time I saw this was through my Puerto Rican family from back in the day. And I was lucky enough to spot this for $5 and had to bag it right away and haven't used it for years. But the time is coming because I got something in my mind that a video would be perfect for me to show you what my great grandma used to cook. Anyway, this is just the size of the lid. Do you see this? This is not a freaking flying saucer, although it looks like it. <laughs> Are you ready to watch? Look at the size of this monster sitting on my freaking stove. Watch this. Okay, are you guys ready? There's my GE Cafe stove, right? The one on the video with all the five burners. Now watch this. Look at the size of this monster Puerto Rican pot. Look at this. It covers almost the whole three feet wideness of this um, GE Cafe. I know you've never seen anything like this. Let's take the lid off. Look at this. I mean, how many cups of white rice can you make here? How many long dong sausages can you make here? How many octopuses can you kill and cook here? How many burritos can you cover in sauce and let simmer here? How many empanadas can you fry here? How much vaca frita from Zaza's can you store here? How much Texas chili con carne can you cook here? Oh my gosh, how much taco meat? can you make here? How many pork chops Puerto Rican style can you fry here? What size of a pork Boston butt can you cook here over eight or ten hours? And let's not talk about how big of a brisket or two or three can fit in here. But should we talk about how many lobsters you can boil here? Should we try to guess how many pounds of black Cuban beans can be cooked here? Shall we discuss how many burgers, patties, from Boba Burgers, my favorite, can you just cook here and cover in freaking cheese? The whole thing would be amazing. How many pounds of a Italian lasagna can you cook here? How many tons of spaghetti and meat sauce can you cook here? What do you think? How many two inch meatballs will fit here? Shall I continue? How many avocados can you slice and dice for a party and make some guacamole? How many pounds do you think this will give you? Can you make a pizza here? 
I don't know, but I'm sure it's been tried. Can you imagine somebody in Miami with this cooking some freaking ropa vieja? Oh my gosh. And let's not think about the picadillo, which is my favorite seasoned Cuban ground beef. Or something that I really don't like to eat really or cook is how much arios con polios. Cuban style chicken with yellow rice can be cooked here. Can we go on please? How many shrimp scampis can you place inside this pot and cook? Are we talking about five dozen, ten dozen? How many fried shrimps can you cook in here? Ten dozen? Shall we continue? What size of a shepherd's pie with all that beautiful seasoned meat and freaking cheese over the mashed potatoes and corn and peas can you feed people out of this here? How much of a Palomina humongous steak like some of the Cuban places do can you fry here? How much chicken parmigiana can you actually fry here and then cover over freaking cheese and let it simmer for a while? How much fettuccine Alfredo can you put with the old time Mario Batali amazing white sauce? Look at my last video here. Shall I continue? Shall I? How much congree Cuban black rice mixed with black beans can you cook here how much sausage jambalaya rice can you make here how many pounds shall i continue how many tacos can you make and stuff here and just carry to a party just as a carrying tool Oh my gosh, it's just too much. How much fried ice cream can a Mexican restaurant make here and then add the toppings on top, the caramel, the sugar, everything else? What size of ribs can a barbecue master like myself cook in here? Oh, I'm getting so hungry talking about this. But let's hit Asia now. How much Chinese fried rice could you make here? 10 cups? 20 cups? Oh, I just can't take this anymore. I can go through the whole freaking Cuban menu, Italian menu, Puerto Rican menu, American menu, barbecue menu, Peruvian food menu, Argentinian menu with their beautiful long dong sausages and it just goes on and on and on so tell me guys what else could you cook here and you can think about it but don't bother answering because the comments are freaking off baby I've told you that a million times I'm not dealing with your snide remarks Get this view from here. Look. Let me put some music to this. <laughs> well, this takes me back to my great grandma. This takes me back to my grandma who used to make this amazing dish called carni asciara no carni masciara where she would take pork loin over potatoes and black sauce and all kinds of goodies and this red sauce and cook there for eight ten hours and the meat would just fall off the freaking round bones but the meat really doesn't have bones but i'm just giving you the effect Oh, my grandma could definitely throw down here 
same from my great great grandma my great grandma used to take chickens from her backyard twist their necks and throw them in a pot like this and cook them can you believe that crap oof the old days they were nasty well guys if you get an opportunity to buy something like this especially for five dollars you grab it because you'll be able to sell this for 35 40 50 dollars on offer up or five miles or any one of those services or even in your own freaking garage sale this one is in pretty good shape after somebody used it i bought it from a spanish family that was moving oh, this freaking thing is getting heavy but look at this it's like a flying saucer look it's Wow. Freaking cast iron or freaking aluminum. I don't know what they use, but I got to tell you that it looks freaking amazing to me. Don't be jelly. I'm willing to rent it for those who know me. If you're having a party and you need this, just give me 20 bucks per day. And make sure you return it nice and clean, and it will be just fine. I forgot to mention, how many live crabs can you boil in this bad boy? I've been wanting to get my teeth and tongue and mouth into some blue crabs from Florida. Never get a chance to. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for chilling. Thank you for going over all my food ideas for this humongous giant calderon. I'm going to have to look and see what the origin of calderon means. But I got my sources, so I was able to make the video after learning the name of this. Thank you for watching. I'm like, do I have to say this now? You saw what a beautiful, unique video I just made. But you're not going to see my next one unless you hit what? Subscribe, little bell, and then give me a thumbs up for my efforts. Until next time, or until the next treasure, I'm out. Yeah.